name is Jose Cruz, I'm writer creator of Subject Alpha. Subject Alpha tells the story of a young man who obtains powers or abilities from a blue space rock. We will see the internal struggle that this man has, trying to get answers from who he is since he does not remember anything, and how he obtained those abilities, and his now place in humanity. So Jack Alpha takes you to a different world in a genre of superheroes with space adventures with different races, intergalactic worlds, and science. Support this project and let us take you to this adventure and learn more about Subject Alpha. Thank you, and support Torterson. Hey everybody, Dan Sen here, publisher of Argo Comics and our creator-owned imprint, Thunderzone. You just heard from Jose Cruz. He has Subject Alpha coming through Thunderzone, which we will also have in both English and Spanish language. It's our first uh, time doing that. Uh, within my own title, Junkyard Joe, we will have a backup feature of Trials of Vulcan based on the public domain character Vulcan, and that will be Francisco Zamora bringing us that. Uh, many know him as one of the top letterers in the indie community, and now you will see his writing. Okay, for my own title, Junkyard Joe, it is uh, at the base of it a story of a single father taking care of his daughter and making ends meet, running his junkyard. Now, in addition to running the junkyard, he is a bit of a mechanic and an inventor. So he, uh, in his crime fighting escapades, uh, he is one to kind of MacGyver uh, different pieces of junk within the junkyard into weapons, okay? Um, the closest thing I could think of is the old uh, uh, Fat Albert cartoon where they used to uh, kind of MacGyver their instruments out of the junk in the junkyard, but he will be MacGyvering his uh, uh, weapons from that. Okay, so I know that's hard to kind of like get a handle on, so I'm going to do a little uh, demonstration. Um, all right, so Junkyard Joe, okay, he's going to have just like a toolbox full of tools. Let me see here, some tools that we might have on hand. All right, you know, your pliers, your screwdrivers, you know, just this whole assortment of tools, okay? Junkyard Joe will take those tools, okay, and he'll scour the junkyard for, you know, uh, uh, this looks like a weapon, but it's not really, uh, you know, we got a little uh, Nintendo. Uh, you know, that came with some old uh, school controllers. Okay, no one's using these anymore. So, Junkyard Joe, let's see. Hey, you know, why not use the whole console while we're at it, right? He'll get that together. Uh, what other junk do we have around? Ah, uh, this isn't gonna, we're looking for a weapon, that's not gonna do anything. Um, oh, okay, and we got a little, uh, this is what people, uh, I guess prior to YouTube, used to make their videos out of. But I guess there was no YouTube, so there was no, there was no place to post it. But you had your uh, video cameras there. I don't know, this is like the past meeting the present. Okay, so we get out our tools, do some work on this stuff. Take the controller, all right, and there we have a uh, bona fide uh, light sword. I mean, light sword. Let's not get in trouble with the lawyers. Got this light sword that I just made out of that junk, and that's what Junkyard Joe does. You know, he makes weapons out of the junk, and uh, we'll see him actually get involved in a uh, adventure taking place in a comic convention. So um, if you've seen uh, our other offerings, we have had uh, four Kickstarters thus far. We've uh, fulfilled all those Kickstarters. Both these books are completed, so we just need your help in raising the funds to print them and get them out to you. So really appreciate all the support. Uh, don't forget to just share the campaign around. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. We're looking forward to bringing these books to you. 
Thanks for checking us out.